continued to leave South Africa fearing renewed attacks. Going home and a multitude of emotions, anger, sadness, fear, regret. They no longer feel safe in South Africa. Some have vowed never to return. For others though, South Africa remains their home. For me, I don't like xenophobia. Yeah, and they never go anywhere. I will stay here until, yeah, because I got many family here. Yeah, my wife, my son, my daughter, see, my family. So I can't go anywhere. Yeah, boss, we are very sad about the situation. Everything we have, we got from South Africa. So when things are like this, it's very bad. We are bad. It's no longer safe to stay in South Africa. They attack us saying we must go back to our countries, but we don't know what the problem is. Several buses, believed to be transporting Zimbabweans, moved through Bait Bridge in Musina. They didn't go through the Way Bridge and passengers didn't disembark. Two Zimbabweans are reported to be among the victims. The documentation process has been completed at Chatsworth and as a result, six buses left yesterday with 408 people bound for Bite Bridge. They should be arriving sometime to date. Pretoria has offered to transport foreign nationals wishing to return home. Lesotho has commended the South African government for condemning the victimization of foreign nationals and for additional measures to protect lives and property and more concern from the African Union. South Africans are all over the world, many working in other African countries. They are respected and welcomed by the people of those countries and protected by their governments. Whatever problems there are must be addressed through dialogue. South Africa will be hosting the African Union Summit later this year. Lehana Tsutiti, SABC News.